Okay. It's difficult to see with eyes, much less the camera. Bright light. But that vent right there, right here in this area, the shingle hue doesn't match. It almost seems I can convince myself that there is a possible roof repair there. area right here on the south side of the portico it's what's known as a dead valley okay the water comes down the roof and then hits this wall and it comes out around so it doesn't drain off the roof as fast as it normally would and all roofs leak that's home ownership 101 we don't know where but it's Probably that's what's known as a problematic area. And uh, I'm not promising it'll leak there, but your odds are just better. Good, I guess. Good odds for that. Right here. When this flashing comes down next to the wall, there's supposed to be kick out flashing right there. Kick out flashing. And then, where the rain gutter butts up against the wall, it's supposed to be about a two inch gap kick out flashing will take care of that. Otherwise, the guttering and the flashing manufacturer, the roof covering manufacturer, excuse me, uh, thinks that that rain gutter shouldn't be so close to the wall. That's what they think. I don't know. They make the stuff. They make it. And it's flashing. You got the edge of the shingles. And the board below that, put your fascia board. Right in between there, I'm not sure if you can see that real well, there's there's metal flashing, edge flashing. In this case, it's rake edge flashing. And it's not supposed to be lapped less than 10 inches. I don't really understand this, but we're at the front of the house, and they've got one, two, three, four, four laps right there you can see from the street. It's kind of disheartening. You might hide it around a corner or something try to get away with it. Anyway, speaking of flashing, up here, that same edge flashing at the gable, right at the tip. That's supposed to be folded over. It's not supposed to be open like that. And then speaking of flashing, we're still going there. We got some kick out flashing over the tail of that. On there, it's just, I guess that's kick out flashing. I guess it is. Let's get a better look at it. I, I guess so. Alright, maybe I should leave that one alone. It happens. This is the, you gotta take my word for it, department. Underneath the shingles, this underlayment, like it is, is supposed to go over the top of this flashing. If I go around the corner, I'll see that it doesn't. I'm not going to make a special video for that one event. The siding, where it meets the roof covering, that's flashing the dark stuff. But this wooden siding, it's supposed to be a two inch gap. Up here, probably not so bad. Probably. So if we get down here, it's getting awful tight. Awful tight. That's, that's not a two inch gap between the siding and the roof covering. It's just not. Coming along. There's another one of those flashing gaps. And the short flashing gaps. 